Uh, Xperia Z3 was released all the way back in 2014, but how does it hold up now? <laughs> So first off, the design. The design is actually very, very nice, and I consider this uh, pretty close to the design of the iPhone 4, which is pretty surprising, but it almost looks exactly the same. Uh, the camera is almost in the exact same place. It has the same design feeling with glass on the back and on the front, and uh, yeah, just feeling this is actually feels makes it feel really premium. So, how fast is it now? Well, it's actually pretty speedy, I would say. And, um, and I mean, everything is pretty easy to use. And that's one of the good things. It's still pretty supported with most apps. And, uh, that's a pretty good thing. So, uh, yeah. A lot of things that people were talking about about this phone was the camera. Now, in my opinion, the camera's not that great. I would compare it to maybe the iPhone 6 or the 6S. Um, because even though it's 4K, um, it doesn't look actually that great. And um, in low light, it's not great. And uh, yeah. The specs on this phone isn't actually too horrible. And I would consider this actually okay for 2019. Um, it has 3 gigabytes of RAM, a Snapdragon 801, and uh, about 16 gigabytes of storage. So I wouldn't say it's too bad, and also has a 2.2 gigahertz processor. So um, definitely not like, you know, it's not great, but for the price, it's actually a pretty good deal, and I would definitely recommend this phone. I'm gonna just show you guys though what the display looks like when in the direct sun. Yeah, you can't really see it. It's pretty hard to see. I'm gonna put this at full brightness here. Yeah, you really can't see it. So it's not that bright of a display. However, if you go in like a little shady area, more shadier area, like here, it's actually a lot better. And uh, I mean, it's not like the iPhone XR, you know, the X and stuff like that in, you know, brightness wise, but it's definitely not horrible. So guys, tell me what you think of this phone. Is this actually a really good phone to buy in 2019? In my opinion, for the price, yes. You can find uh, these phones for well under $100 and um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty speedy, and if you like Android, then uh, this is the uh, phone for you. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah.